Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're doing a 1997 Four Winds 240 Horizon. We just picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace uh, for a really good deal. Thank you guys very much. You sold it to me. Much appreciated. The family's going to love it. Uh, so let's just talk about it really quick. It's in great shape. There's a couple things that we need to do. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to deoxidize it, wash it, wax it, we got a lot to do. Um, the boat, like I said, overall is in great condition. Uh, the only damage that I've seen on the boat so far, I don't even know if you can see it right there, are two deep nicks that we're going to get to eventually. Uh, today we're going to be taking off all of the stickers, crossing our fingers. Uh, we're going to work our way around. We got to take off this emblem right here because it's starting to break. I don't know if you can see the little crack in there. There's a crack right there. You want to take that off, walk around, some other issues with the boat. Has been in the water for a long time. Well, like a, year, a little over a year. Uh, previous owner uh, enjoyed rocks. Uh, so we got to get the skeg fixed. It's pretty dirty as you can see. And uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at today. So, uh, stay with me as I bring you along and watch this. You can see why I'm taking off the stickers right there. In a few places, it's just already coming off. Um, so that's going to be the first task of the day. Anyway, well, let's get this show on the road. All right, before we get going here and taking off this first stripe, I just want to, it's going to be loud. i got to run the generator. Uh, I'm going to use a heat gun on it. I'm going to try and heat it up a little bit. I don't want to hurt the gel coat or anything like that. So I'm going to really take my time, see if it works. If I can do it that way, great. If not, I got one of those decal strippers. I just know they make a mess and we got a lot of decal to take off. So um, I'm going to put this on hyperlapse and uh, let's see what happens. All right, not sure you can hear me over the generator, but this is taking a while. That one minute was more like five minutes on my time. And you can only see, I only got about six inches to a foot. What I did find was, if I was able to peel up just a little bit, I could get a run like that without any heat. But it's taken some heat to really get it moving. So I think what I'm gonna do is heat up the next little bit, see how it goes. If I feel like I'm wasting my time, I'm going to get out the decal stripper. Alright, I know I'm probably in your way, so you can't see it, but what I found is working is you give it a bunch of, not a ton of heat, like a lot of gentle heat. And if you can start an edge, as long as you keep it heated, you can keep peeling all the way down. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to, I got that started. I'm going to apply heat as I go. Not super hot, just a little bit as I go down the boat. And I think, fingers crossed, it's going to work. If my back is hiding it, I apologize. Getting this done is more important than you uh, watching that. Hey, but thanks. Like and subscribe if you can. Appreciate it. Okay, so what you're going to notice, and I really apologize for the generator, is if you were watching, I was able to get it to pull up. I was applying a little bit of heat. What I noticed was on parts, and I brought you up close, you'll see as you're pulling it off, it will start to stretch and get really soft. That means you have too much heat. As you're pulling, it's nice and clean, nice and clean, nice and clean. And then, I don't know if you can see that right there, you start seeing glue marks. That means it's too cold. Give it a second, give it more heat. As I was doing that, 
it was working great. I got a little bit of a glue, so I was applying heat. I gave it too much and I peeled off. So now I gotta go back to starting it. Once it started, you pull up a little bit and then you can start over. Cool. All right, so you get the idea of what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put pause on here. Uh, I don't know what time it is. I think it's gotta be close to 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Ah! And uh, I'm gonna do, uh, see how far I can get, see how long it takes me to take this side of the boat down. Really, this is the way to do it. I've watched videos on those decal strippers, um, power washing, abrasives, a heat gun on the low setting, a little bit of heat to get started and just watching the decal if it gets too stretchy it's too hot if it gets if it's sticking it's not enough heat it's going quick i've done what took me five minutes over there it's probably taking me five minutes for the rest so fingers crossed the rest of this goes pretty smooth when you rip it that's when it's a pain to get started take the time these plastic uh chisels from harbor freight great at getting it started um so yeah that's where we're at let's uh come back when i get this done all right so i got smart i moved the generator a little further away for you uh hopefully you can hear better all right that's not uh that's just a reflection right there anyway uh it's taken me uh like you know 10 minutes it's about it to get everything off over here the two the red the, uh the gray the old stickers right there came off um, I did take a few minutes and I pulled off the chrome trim here because you can just see that it goes underneath. And if I'm going to pull these stickers, I'm going to do it right. So I just did that. Um, also, I'm going to leave this white one down here. Uh, you can't really tell, but that looks to be in good shape. Anyway, really, uh, the heat method with uh, just pulling it up little by little is definitely the way to go. You can see right here, I was getting off really long. It was almost like, <laughs> it was almost like a challenge to get off as long as I could. Anyway, it came off, come, came off great. Um, I actually got to go to DMV and get it registered because um, it is ready for the water. But I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna get the rest off of here all the way around. Um, where it's beat up, let me just see if I can find a space here. Like all of this checking through here, um, and it's really washed out, which is the reason I'm taking it off. And things like this, there that's where you're gonna get stuck. Like you're gonna have to stop and restart, um, you know, getting, getting the sticker off back here. Must have been where the sun was hitting because it's really bad, so that's gonna be a little difficult. Even worse over here where the color is all gone, but the sticker is still there. Um, so yeah, I mean that's why it's coming off, and then we're gonna we're gonna wash, we're gonna compound, we're gonna try and bring this boat back to life. I mean you can see the color it was, the color it's supposed, the color it is, the color it was, um, and yeah, it's gonna be nice when we're done. So uh, that's the challenge for today. Um, but let's go get this thing registered. All right, not going as smoothly this side of the porthole and that's because the decals are far more sun bleached I mean I can see red coming through I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera um, and it because the decal is so thin either I don't know if it was just compounded so many times or the sun bleached it it just doesn't have the the meat left on it to continue pulling so whew, I, this this is rough going at this point. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying with the heat and uh, and the scraper, see if I can uh, get anywhere. Uh, but if I if I'm still in the same area in the next ten minutes, uh, I think I'm gonna move on to the the wheel. I, I know that this might come up easier. Just it's a brighter color, um, so maybe it's not as bad. So. We're going to give this a little bit more, but uh, it's kind of what's going on right now. I've been at this for uh, about a half hour. 
Um, so, I like that it's not making a big mess, but boy, it's tough going. Well, this is taking longer than expected. It starts off really easy. It gets really hard when you get from like the cleat back. And I think that that's because the sun doesn't really hit that part right there. So those came out beautifully. I could do from the bow to the cleat, two minutes maybe, but the rest of it, whoo, 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 is tough going. This side's been easier than the other side. Um, it, it would be really good if I had a second person to heat while I push the scraper. What I don't like about scraping is it leaves a lot of uh, a lot of glue behind. So I'm gonna have to acetone the whole thing, try and get it off. Um, the back of the boat though, where it was really sun, I can't see it, there we go. Where it was really sun beaten. Here, I'll show you on this side. Um, there's like, there's nothing there to get your scraper in into. So I've moved to the buffing wheel or the eraser wheel. It makes a friggin' mess, um, but it's working. I, I'm just making sure I go, I move around because it really heats up the gel coat a lot. So I really don't want to heat it up too much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little real time here. I'm gonna put you on the stand and uh, show you. So hold on. All right. Grab the buffing wheel. It would really be nice if they made this a uh, reverse thread because it will come off. So here we go. All you do is... But it leaves a mess. I mean, there's, there's going to be rubber in this area forever, you know, well, as long as I live here. But it does take it off. Um, like I said, I tried in here to get the, uh, the scraper in there, but I really had no luck in being able to do that. So, um, like I said, just keep moving around because it does heat it up. Um, here we go. I am going to say, if you don't care about the mess, this is the way to go because you can see how much I just did really quickly. Um, I don't know if it would be the same on the decals that are really like still in better condition. Uh, I'm going to try those in a minute. See, I'm doing up here and there's nothing left. There really is. Now there's nothing there. Fall off. Whoop, oh, just kicked you. All right, and they uh, hit stop here. Right, just for giggles, let's see what it does on uh, better condition. Hint, hint, I've already done it. Here we go. Be a good thing I'm compounding the boat, huh? I don't know if you can see it, but it is making a mess everywhere. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna hit the stop button here, keep on going, and come back to you later. All right, you want quick that rubber wheel is the way to go, but I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to get it in here. Yeah, there we go. It leaves a bloody mess everywhere. I'm covered. It's on everything. It's everywhere. So, I mean, it's on. It's under up underneath the rub rail. It's it's gotten everywhere. So I'm gonna have to, which I was gonna do anyway. Wash the boat. Um, let's take a step back here. 
All right, so the whole, all the decals are off. And now it's on to compound, or wash, compound, and wax. Um, that'll be, I guess, the next video. Uh, looks pretty good without it. Hopefully it all cleans up a little bit and we have a nice, pretty much one color red all the way front to back. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and good luck if you're doing this. It's a real pain in the ass.